Hi, I'm Aubrey Going, and today we're going to talk about shin splints. Shin splints is a generic, non-specific term that really just describes pain in the lower leg, somewhere between the knee and the ankle. There can be a number of different causes for this condition, but one of the most prevalent is a condition known as compartment syndrome. So muscles are grouped together in fascial bags known as compartments. And here we see the fascial network of the body. And we'll take a look at the structures now in a moment and see how muscles are contained within their own fascial envelopes and then how muscles are grouped together to form fascial compartments. We actually have 10 different muscles in the lower leg and they're divided into four different compartments. So here we see them numbered. At the back, we have the posterior compartment containing gastrocnemius and soleus. And then underneath that, we have the deep posterior compartment marked as number two here. And that's containing three different muscles, our posterior tibialis, flexor digitorum longus, and flexor hallucis longus. We have similar muscles in the front, but we have an anterior tibialis, a extensor digitorum longus, and extensor hallucis longus. And what these muscles do is create movement. The anterior compartment muscles lift the foot and toes to create a motion called dorsiflexion. The posterior and deposterior compartment muscles then perform the opposite motion, known as plantar flexion, pointing the toes away from us. Anterior and posterior tibialis can also work together to create a different motion where we lift the inside edge of the foot, and this is known as inversion. The opposite motion is done by the peroneal muscles, or fibularis muscles on the outside, where they lift the little toe side of the foot, and this movement is known as eversion. It's important to remember that painful muscles aren't necessarily tight muscles. Frequently used muscles tend to be bigger and they get stronger, but they then cause weakness or inhibition in their opposite, antagonistic muscles. And as the frequently used muscles get tighter and tighter, their opposite muscles get weaker and weaker. Either can be painful. So here's the compartment that's containing those deep posterior muscles. Here, where the client has had an emergency fasciotomy and the outermost layer of the muscle fascia, the epimysium, has been cut, we gain an appreciation of the role of fascia in containing structures and giving them their characteristic shape. But you can see the fascial envelope around these muscles. And what can oftentimes happen in chin splints when we get a compartment syndrome is when we start to use these muscles, they become filled with blood, they become suffused with blood. As a result of that, they start to expand. If the connective tissue hasn't had time to warm up, as these muscles like our posterior tibialis, start to warm up and expand, they actually become squeezed and compressed within their own fascial bag or fascial envelope. The constricting force exerted by these fascial compartments is exacerbated by the typical patterns of muscle imbalance, causing and contributing to fascial migration. We have to address the tightness in the tight muscles through therapy and stretching before we can really correct the weakness in the painful muscles. So proper home care is really important. For these muscles, it means then that for the weak muscles at the front, like anterior tibialis, we want to do strengthening work to help tonify them and draw the fascia back up. For the posterior compartment muscles, like our posterior tibialis, we want to try and stretch this guy back out. We want to try and move the, the fascial compartment, the fascial envelope, to stretch it back down, where the fascia has a tendency to migrate back towards the fixed end, the origin of the muscle, in tight muscles, the fascia will migrate proximally. We get the opposite effect in a weak muscle where the fascia tends to migrate distally. Hope you enjoyed this short video and found it helpful. If there's subjects that you'd like to see us cover in future videos, particular injuries or explanations of anatomical structures, please do get in touch with us either by leaving a note in the comments or you can email us at info at hcd.ie. You can also find information on our training seminars as well as our resource materials such as DVDs and books on our website, it's hcd.ie. If you'd like us to travel to you to provide a seminar in your area, please do get in touch. Thanks for watching.